Welcome to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I have a lot of history with this game, as you can see from this screen. Um, so I'm pretty sure my most recent file on here was probably Brendan. Uh, Mario, pretty standard. Mano, I don't even know. I don't remember. And then, uh, Ed, no, p -p -p -p. I couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I've been playing this game for a long time. <laughs> uh, this was definitely not my first game on the Super Nintendo, but it was one of the real early ones we got. But I'm gonna do a new game. Uh, we're we're just gonna go with the. Uh, We'll go ahead and be Brendes. I don't actually know how many letters I get. Oh, I could do uh, I can do the full. Okay. It's pronounced the same either way, but yeah, this is the technically correct spelling. So I have a lot of history with this game, and jumping straight into another RPG, probably not the best idea, but. You know, I was sitting there thinking, oh, what do I want to play? I should play something short, I should play not an RPG. You know what? Screw it! It's my channel, I'll play the games I like. I love this game, I've been wanting to play it for a while, we're gonna play this game. So, Bowser has once more kidnapped the princess, as he do. Also, I love the art style in this game. Um, it's very claymation-ish. Um, or at least that's what it's always made me think of. Um, and as a kid, I was always really into claymation. I actually did a lot of sculpting and clay work when I was young. Um, and I feel like this game was probably a large influence on that. Let's see if I remember the controls. Okay, so it's wide to jump. Also, this is the first game since moving, uh, that we're playing that we are able to use, or that I'm actually able to do on its original console. You know, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no? Okay. Uh, that I'm actually able to do on its original console again. So you don't have to fight any of these guys. I don't think you actually get any experience, but this is a good option for me to show off the uh, command menu. So the command menu, I, I really like this menu. It kind of works the same way in, uh, like, Lufia and Breath of Fire 3 actually kind of does a similar thing. Where it's button-based, um... So you've got your attack, your extras, which are usually just defense and run, but sometimes you have a special command in there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, y is your specials. Uh, you have a shared FP pool, uh, flower point pool. Uh, and then X is item. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and with attack. I actually messed that up. I'm pretty sure I can do timed hits. Yeah, okay, so there, there you saw I was able to defend. There we go. Yeah, so you can do timed hits. This... This is the precursor to the Paper Mario series. So, anyone who's familiar with Paper Mario, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here that's pretty similar. Oh, okay, you have an actual forced battle here. Uh, you will notice I'm not getting any experience. That's because this is still kind of the tutorial. Uh, technically, all of these battles, except for this one so far, have been completely optional. And I don't think you get a thing for them. They also all die in one hit. Ah, uh, I need to get better at that, those timed hits. There we go. It's kind of just right as the first punch lands. Not that I'm really going to have to worry about that one very much, uh, but... Nothing really to do there. The bridge has collapsed, so can't come back. Hey, Bowser, your castle got real small. There's not a whole lot to it anymore. <laughs> nice throne room, though. Gotta say, really appreciate the lighting. Grayscale. His chair looks not comfortable. Although I suppose it is there to fit his shell, so I guess for him that would work pretty well. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario! Thanks, Peach. I'm not gonna do a voice. I'm not gonna do voices for everyone. I'm not I'm not that good at voice acting. <laughs> Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. Alright, cool. So we have Bowser. 
Both of these guys are unarmed, actually. Oh, wait, no. Unarmed is uh, the weapon I am using, I'm pretty sure. Alright. So we can keep wailing on Bowser, but I'm pretty sure you can't actually beat him. Mario, the chain! Aim for the chain! Yeah, I don't think you can actually defeat Bowser in this battle. But what you can do... ...is you can fight the chain. We're just gonna keep jumping on him. Your uh, special attacks also have timed hits. Everything has timed hits. Yeah, there we go. What was that sound? No, 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 no. It's a chain reaction. Hold on, King Clink. Well, I win. Coming, Mario? Hey, you don't get hammers. I'm the hammer man. Why do you have... Yeah, fight. Fight against the chain link. You know, letting go. <laughs> what... What can Mario really do about that, aside from grab on the chain? <laughs> Speaking of which, why didn't Bowser grab on the chain? It's clearly strong enough to hold both of these guys. Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. Well, this is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Oh, foiled again. I love the humor in this game. I just love everything about this game. This is probably... I don't know if this was my first RPG. Uh, the first Breath of Fire very, very possibly might have been my first RPG. But this would have been very early in terms of RPGs I've ever played. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first one. Although I think I think I played Breath of Fire before I played this one, but I'm not 100% I'm not on that. There it is. All right, well, we hit title screen, therefore, uh, game's over. We beat the game. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was Mario RPG. I was saying I wanted to play something uh, shorter. Uh, what could be shorter than an eight-minute long game, you know? All right, all right. I guess, we, I guess we can do a little bit more. The Pipe House. Now, unfortunately, no Luigi in this game. Which is kind of disappointing. But, to be fair, you also don't get to actually do anything with Luigi in either of the Paper Marios either. So I guess this kind of starts that trend. <laughs> then again, this was still early enough in the Mario franchise where Luigi was just kind of player two. It was just color skin, color skinned, uh, or recolored. Recolored and reskinned equals color skinned. Uh, Mario. Hey Mario, lots of people something use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, came to pick up Princess Toadstool. She's uh, a little late. Well, I'm just gonna hang out for a bit. Uh, well, I guess we can get going. Well, later, Toad. <laughs> You actually have to jump out of bed. <laughs> I don't think there is anything else of note to do in Mario's house. Uh, there are secret item or secret blocks in the game. I don't remember if there is any in Mario's house. Uh, speaking of which, I should go ahead and iterate this now. This is not a 100% run. I have never done a 100% run of this game. I don't think I ever will. There are a lot of challenges and things in this game that I am not able, I'm just not able to do. And I don't want to get good enough to do them, so it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna get all the stuff I can remember. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh, well, here we go again. Please bring her back. All right, well, let's save. I have to figure out which save slot I'm getting rid of. Well, I feel like I can't get rid of Ednopipipa. I, I don't know what it is, but it's been there so, so long, I can't get rid of it. I'll just get rid of Brendan. That's, that's fine. Replace Brendan with Brendes. That's fine. Do you have anything else to say? If you're tired, just turn off the fungi light. Go for a snooze. Got it. 
Alright, so this is kind of our overmap, or this, overmap, I was gonna say overworld and then I decided to say map instead. This is kind of our map, uh, pretty, pretty simple movements, uh, just kind of go between the different location that you want to be in. Uh, kind of secret, or, er, uh, uh, I was about to say secret of mana, that's not it. That's a completely different thing. Uh, Mystic Quest, kind of like Mystic Quest in that way. A trespasser! This castle belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. Actually, it's kind of interesting that it's like Mystic Quest because this is made in conjunction with Square Enix, who are the ones who made Mystic Quest, because it's Final Fantasy. Anyway, alright, never really put that together. This is our first step towards taking over the world, and if it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd own this world. So deal with this. He's just gonna yap. He's gonna yap so hard that it'll break the bridge. Now, I am playing this on the SNES. So, graphical quality here. It looked a lot better when it was on a, like, one foot by one foot screen on a CRT. That being said, uh, if I was doing the Wii Virtual Console version, which I think is the last version I've had played on this one, it might look a little better. I don't actually know. I don't think it would have. But it's been so long since I've been able to actually play something on its original console at this point. I just kind of wanted to. Oh, you're back. Did you forget? No? Well, what happened? I love this. Mario's mute, so he can't vocalize anything. So he has to mime everything that happens in the game. The bridge about to keep is out. Oh, that's just wonderful. Well, now we gotta inform the Chancellor. Let's go, Mario. So yeah, anything that he needs to describe, they have to mime out. I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep. Excuse me, Toad. Oh, oh, well, excuse me. Oh, that bump. It reduced your HP. Well, this, this, these mushrooms should perk you right up. You know how to use items? Well, of course I do. Oh, well, you're just so well traveled and experienced, Mario. Why did I rush back? Couldn't have anything to do with this Goomba. Oh, I came to warn you. Mushroom Boy swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back. Mario, do something. Do you know about timed hits? I'm gonna say no just for the tutorial. Just so I can... Oh, okay. First one to a battle. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you say yes, he'll just turn around and say, This guy knows about timed hits. And the Goomba will be like, Oh, I don't want to deal with that. And just walk away. Push A again to attack. Got it. Now wait just a second. Hit it A again right here. Yep. Good timing. When successful, your attack changes and damage increases. Yep. And you can do the same thing with defense to defend. You can also do the same thing with special attacks, except you use the Y button there. Won't always work though. Now try a special strike. Oh, actually, I think they're going to cover that, too. <laughs> I like the double frame Mario. Your attack will be more powerful. Learn special skills as you gain experience. They're on the menu. Oh, I suppose I could actually show the menu. Read about them, okay? Fuck you, Toad. I do what I want. And again, since it's a tutorial battle, we don't get anything. Well, now you got a fighting chance. Cool. I had something to tell you. Oh, right, we need to tell the Chancellor. See you over at Mushroom Kingdom. Take these with you. Cool, so we got a bunch of mushrooms. So, I don't think items stack. No, items do not stack. You have a pretty large inventory, though. And flower points, uh, or just flowers in general, as we see on the left there, uh, just to the left of my cursor here, uh, are shared amongst the party. There are some things you can use outside of battle. Uh, they're from special menu. You can also just take a look at your specials. Stomp foes, press Y just before the hit. So there you go. Mario will learn a new move at level 3, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, your flowers, I don't believe, go up when you go up levels. 
Uh, but I'll get I'll get to that when I actually go up some levels. Uh, we got your good old stat screens here. Got some attack, magic, defense, a little bit of magic, defense, or attack, magic, attack, a little bit of magic, defense, zero defense, which is kind of disappointing. Speed really only affects turn order, so it's not, it's helpful, but it's not imperative. Uh, items, already showed those. Equipment, there is equipment in this game. I don't have anything to equip at this point, but there is equipment. Uh, I'm gonna heal real quick. Just because I have... I shouldn't have actually done that fight, but it gives probably a little bit of a better explanation of uh, time hits than I had given, so there you go. But yeah, literally, if you say, I, I already know about timed hits, he just turns to the Goomba, I'm, I'm fairly certain, and just says, this guy knows about time hits, you better watch out, and the Goomba just runs away. <laughs> Uh, so these Goombas on the path will infinitely spawn. So you can come here and grind as much as you want to. If you want to. Um, there's not a whole lot of need to do that. In fact, as far as I can remember, there's not a whole lot of need to grind in this game in general. Um, I'm gonna hit this guy before... I, I don't think there's like first strikes or anything. Oh, you guys, uh, you guys got some defense on you. I wonder. I don't think I've ever actually done this. I don't know if they are actually specifically weak to jump. But, uh, they've got some defense, so if they actually take two hits. I think they probably have, like, ten health. But, you did see they actually gave me coins, so... Some things will give you coins, some things won't. Oh, coin box. Cool. So these are your, like, blocks equ equivalent in this game. So you can just... Some of them contain coins, some of them contain flower points, which in permanently increase your amount of flower power. Uh, some of them will fully restore you. Oh, cool, HP max. Uh, so sometimes when you beat up an enemy, they'll drop an item, and some of those items can be... Uh, They'll do different things, like, sometimes it'll give you an HP max, sometimes it'll say, go again. Uh, sometimes it'll legitimately just give you, like, a mushroom or something. Oh, cool. Honey syrup. So that will restore my flower points. Aha! There is a guy hiding back there. I'm gonna try jumping on him. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. There's no first strikes in this game, like there are in, uh, the Paper Marios. I think the Goombas are fairly likely to give you uh, HP max, just because they're basically the tutorial enemy. Yeah, I think they're very likely to give it to you. Because they, uh, they don't want you dying here. <laughs> they also only give you 3 XP, so they're not super worth fighting aside from that. Don't give you any coins. I'm gonna give you a little bit of XP. I think that box is actually a full restore, so I'm gonna wait to hit that. I'm gonna try and practice some of these time hits and do really badly. I want to be I wanna be that kind of gamer and blame like input delay or something, but in reality it's just me being bad. <laughs> I haven't played this game on a uh, CRT or something in decades, probably. So I really can't... I really can't use that as an excuse. <laughs> I am hoping that they'll drop me another HP max. There we go! I could really go for some defense. Don't really have that. But that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. Okay, we need to take this guy out so we can actually do some fun jumps. Eh. There we go. Blocking a little bit of damage. Oh! And he actually used a different attack. I think he may have, like, spat a needle or something at me. I've never been super certain what that's supposed to be. Hey, we lined up a level! Cool. Smario reaches level 2, 
Uh, we can see I get some stat increases, which is always helpful. A uh, little bit of HP. Uh, twos across the board, except for HP and attack. Attack going up a little bit more. Mario's a pretty balanced character. Um, I don't remember if you are always required to have Mario or not. Um, so the bonuses do different things. So if I go with power, uh, it will increase my attack and defense. It'll also tell you how much it'll do things before you pick it. Okay, so I think I'm actually probably going to want to go with magic. Um, so if you just keep investing in the same thing over and over, it will give you diminishing returns. So if I just do HP over and over, instead of giving me three, it'll give me like one. Uh, so it, the game wants you to kind of be hitting different things over and over, or it wants you to be going with different stuff each level. It doesn't want you to just keep investing in the same thing over again. Uh, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with magic attack. I wanted to go with attack, but my attack was actually already pretty high. Cool. Let's save this guy. I don't remember if going up a level full heals you. Well, I messed that up. That's okay. He actually hurts me less than the Goombas. Then again, I went up a level, so that probably helps, because now I actually have two defense instead of zero. Yeah, I might be able to one-shot those guys now. Okay, so it won't straight up tell you if you get an item. It'll just be on that last screen. Got a flower tab. Nice. So, one tricky thing with flower tabs. They will permanently increase your FP, which is really cool. Alright, yeah, they have like 10 HP. Or at least they have more than 7 and equal to or less than 10. Um, nope. Alright. So, flower tabs will permanently increase your FP. However, they will also full- oh, cool. That was actually a flower tab in a box. Uh, so when you get those, it does not restore your- What I was about to say is, if you use a flower tab from your menu, which does take up an item slot, I will raise your flower points by one, permanently. It will also fully recover your flower tabs, which makes... Which means that uh, when you get to the point that you have techniques that can be used for healing, uh, you can basically use a stored flower tab as a way to... full heal yourself whenever you need to. Because you can use, your all, use all of your FP to heal up, and then use a single flower tab to fully restore your FP. So, it's honestly not a terrible strategy to hang on to one or two uh, for, like, right before a boss fight or something. There we go. Alright. There's not a whole lot left to see here. I think this might be a full restore. Yep. So if you get a mushroom in there, and I'm pretty sure that restores FP as well. Yep, full restore. So that restored my FP as well. So if you see those, you can get fully healed by it. Ah, Lakitu. I don't think I can actually take out the Lakitu, but he will just continuously spawn uh, spikies. Which actually are the strongest thing here right now. So let's actually take him out first, since I can take him out there. Cool. And they give me two coins instead of only one. Uh, so, so far, those are the things that will give me the most coin. Ah, and there's also just some spikies on the field. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I'm actually not strong enough to take them out with a single hit. Um, that's the first enemy. Well, actually, no, I suppose the uh, Paracoopas also required two hits back when I was level one. So if I go up to level two or level three, I'll probably be strong enough to take these guys out in one hit. I actually almost died there. If he had done one more damage, I'd be dead. So that's frightening. Um, all right, well, I guess I should use a mushroom. Recovers 30 HP. So at this point, full heal. Cool. 
I don't actually want to fight a whole lot of these guys. Oh, here we go. Hey, you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Alright, so I am actually just going to use the flower tab here. Because that will give me an extra jump that I can do. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. And there's suddenly two of them. Alright, so since I did that, I can now use my hammer, or use my jump attack four times instead of twice. Alright, he's going to use Valor up since I took out one of his friends. Uh, I didn't really... <laughs> I kind of killed this these guys a lot faster than... Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. That like... Oh, cool, he missed. Yeah, I was gonna say, I kinda killed these guys before they could actually show anything off, but this is- these are the first bosses in the game. Uh, I guess aside from maybe Bowser. Uh... I did not expect to actually one-shot that guy with a single jump. Good to know that, uh, if you put your point into, uh... Oh cool, and it gave me a flower jar, and a lot of coins. Bosses give you a lot of coins, so that's pretty fair, I guess. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom's almost there. Hey, where'd this hammer come from? Hmm. Hey, do you know what this is? It's the Hammer Bros Insignia. No one stands a chance when you want them with this. You never know, might come in handy. Cool, picked up a hammer. Well, let's get a move on, see you in Mushroom Kingdom. So, we just got our first piece of equipment. So, hammer pounds enemies. We can equip that to Mario and increase his attack. If we see his attack is only 23, increase his attack by 10. So, almost incre increase his attack by 1.5 times. I bet now we could probably take out uh, those spikies in one shot. Let's, let's test it out. I know this episode's probably been going a little bit long, but I kind of wanted to get through the Hammer Bro portion first. Oh yeah, there we go. So, uh, if you point that point into special, you can do a timed hit to take out the first Hammer Bro, and then you can just jump twice to take out the second one. Then you get the Hammer and you're able to take out the Spikies in one shot. Which, uh, I highly suggest getting the Hammer before you try and do much with the Spikies. <laughs> Although, if you really are having trouble, you can always just grind on Mushroom Way, uh, because you can go back to Mario's house pretty easily, or just fight Ko Goombas, who will drop HP maxes pretty regularly, to uh, restore yourself. I don't think there were any items. No, that's, that's pretty much it. Alright, cool. Well, that's Mushroom Way. And I will see you guys in the next episode as we go explore the Mushroom Kingdom. Take care.